Hello, thank you for tuning in. Today is Friday, February the 7th, 2014. This video is about how war does not create peace. Um, recently I saw a vehicle in the parking lot at BJ's where I sit and meditate during the day and uh, make myself available to talk to people about the meditation exercise and uh, the various things that I saw while I was working on top secret sites including evidence that proved that the CIA, the Department of Defense and classified division of the Navy uh, were involved in 9-11 in setting it up in um, using materials to create the uh, illusion that the Twin Towers collapsed due to two jet airliners smashing into them and then um, they uh, made a deal with the owner of Building 7 to uh, have that building demolitioned at the exact same time almost so that um, they could say that it, it, was, um, it was also that it also collapsed as a result of the 9-11 incident and um, the evidence that it was a missile that hit the Pentagon and not a, a jet plane. So. Um, the people in the government that I work for, um, that uh, work, you know, a special team was commissioned by JFK before his death to uh, continue the work to try to bring down this occult organization, this monolithic organization that he mentioned. And um, he had the foresight to know that they were going to try, if not succeed, in uh, exterminating him and eliminating him or terminating his life. So, uh, he had the foresight to put together and commission uh, a team to um, go after these individuals even in the event of his death. So anyways, um, the evidence was brought forward, however, uh, the entire incident of 9-11 was orchestrated to uh, in such a manner that um, allowed them to say that military jets were involved and, and that um, that this was a military matter and so they diverted the entire trial off to a military tribunal which then took it out of the public uh, access so that people could not find out the evidence that was presented not to mention um, many of the people that were involved in trying to bring down this organization and bringing forward evidence have mysteriously died or you know supposedly committed suicide um, you know the, the, these are not mysteries people um, if you look at the evidence you'll see that uh, somebody is behind this, that there's somebody orchestrating these deaths, which is basically murder. And um, I don't care whether it's top secret or national security, nothing, nothing, no clearance whatsoever covers the ability to kill. You cannot commit murder and get away with it. It's not legal. There is no precedent for it doesn't matter anyways uh, back to the subject so this bumper sticker on this uh, truck said please tell me how war creates peace and I thought to myself you know um, some people would think that war does create peace what here's what war creates war creates silence the silence of suffering the suffering of all individuals who uh, you know have lost somebody due to the war event um, suffering and silence that's what war creates some people would call that peace of course those people are feeding on the negative emotions and the sadness that comes from the good people who have lost somebody due to the killing more murder so do not confuse and do not disillusion yourself with the idea that war creates peace. It does not. War creates silence and suffering. There is no peace and there never will be peace so long as war is used as a solution to a problem. It is only violence and violence begets violence which means more violence will follow when the generations of individuals who wake up and see the history books of how this violence took place 
try to uh, use more violence to uh, vindicate the loss of their families. Anyways, um, the only thing that really works is peace. Um, the loss, the death that war creates, creates a scar. And the only way to have peace is to allow those scars to heal. And the only way for them to heal is for more people to sacrifice their, their own time and their own efforts and their own lives to create peace. More people, more peacemakers to tune themselves to the frequency of love and peace and use meditation as a means to affect the field of unity so that more people are focused on peace. I use both meditation and a sign that says demand peace. I sacrifice my time, my effort, my everything that is considered comfort in this world in order to do this because those people that want to continue the war effort are not going to sit by idly and let me stand out there with my sign and so they have acted and it is impossible for me to have a moment of peace or comfort in my life um, because they literally have um, you know I would say close to a thousand individuals in the area that randomly come by and uh, harass me um, make stupid comments waste my time um, you know bring me trinkets and say oh you, you know I see you out here all the time but I don't want to help you and I don't want peace in my life so here's a toy so it's um, it's sad but I know I know that not all people follow this agenda I know that not everybody is um, like that that there are many good people out there who truly want peace in their lives and uh, on earth and they do support what I'm doing but they live in fear they fear that they will be attacked as I have been and so they um, they continue to allow me to sacrifice my time by myself and hope that my efforts by myself all alone are going to bring world peace I'm gonna tell you right now if you leave it to me alone it's not gonna happen if you don't join me if you don't join the effort forget about joining me maybe you don't like me but if you don't join the effort then there will be no end result of peace only I will have peace in my heart knowing that I did the right thing knowing that I took the sacrifice that I made the efforts with love in my heart so peace begets peace if you're going to demand peace then you have to do it full time and um, that may mean that you're going to have to sacrifice some of the conveniences and comforts in your life that the system has given you at the illusion that everything will be okay so long as you have a job and money and a house those things truly aren't as important as they want you to believe that they are in the end what lives is your spirit this body is just part-time you're gonna shed this body and you'll get a new body over and over again so invest some of your time into the future that you're coming back to now some of you may not believe in reincarnation but I do so I believe that I'm coming back I believe that I'm going to be reborn that everybody is and the effort that we put into creating peace today is going to make a difference in the future that we come back to when we're reborn. Thanks for watching.